Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Rafael T.W. signing in from Taiwan. And uh, those of you who know me, that I was an airline pilot. <clears throat> and, you know, wherever I go in the world or, or, or even down to the office, this is what I carry around with me, this uh, pipe bag here. Let me go ahead and open it up and see and show you what, what it is. Now, as you can see on the side, uh, this is basically what I carry. Um, I carry with uh, uh, four pipes, uh, mainly two aromatic, two aromatic pipe that I like uh, a lot. Uh, one of a uh, uh, flake pipe, uh, flake pipe here. As you can see, the V shape is very good for uh, flakes. And uh, another thing is here, uh, it's the uh, poker pipe. And uh, I smoke uh, nothing but English in this poker pipe. Now on this side, uh, you can put uh, uh, your tobacco, your tin tobacco here. And on a second, a second insert uh, here, that you can put uh, a, a regular pouch uh, tobacco down here. And no smoker can leave without, uh, no pipe smoker can leave without is the um, check tool. Uh, this is a must-have for all the pipe smokers. So, and um, what we have here in this last uh, uh, part here, it's um, uh, 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 pipe cleaners. So you got, uh, you can put 30 or 40 pipe cleaners, and I recommend every time you smoke, finish your smoke, you take a pipe cleaner and just rigorously clean the uh, the, the pipe, the stem, and, and the pipe stuff. Um, so. Could, Try to uh, bring around 20 to 30 of them instead of carrying a bag, just, you know, stuck them in here. So, that's so much for this bag. And today, what, I'm gonna, what I want to discuss with you is, is this uh, uh, capstan. Now, um, Dublin the Dan, those of you who know him, uh, this is one of his favorite, and I believe this is a birdie tobacco. Oh yes, you can smell. There's a uh, there's a fruitiness to this. It smells really nice. And yes, it comes in a flake. So this is how it comes in. This nice uh, uh, size flake. Uh, <clears throat> I can't put this this much in my pipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break uh, maybe one third of them off and just leave this part here and how you should smoke a flake this is what i do i just fold it the folding method so first of all you just turn you just uh fold it like so and then same thing fold it again so you, it's 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 a bit smaller and then just fold it this way so you, you have about this size here, you know, hold it, squeeze it a little bit so you get the flavor all mixed up. And it's okay to, to be messy. But uh, this is what I, this is what, what I will, will use. This is a Stanwell, um, Stanwell pipe. So basically you have this flake here. What I want to do is, you know, put this in nice and easy using your, your thumb or, or your index finger or whatever, just gently, gently. You don't want to force the tobacco in because once you force the tobacco in, the, uh, you're going to have uh, difficulty drawing, so the airway shaft here is going to be pretty tight. So, nice and easy. Nice and easy fit here. Now, Sorry, I didn't bring my, uh, 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 what do you call the uh, the pipe lighter, so I'm gonna use this, uh, the French made big lighter. So, there it goes. You should usually take uh, uh, the tobacco, have it set out for at least half an hour. I didn't do that, so the tobacco, it's a little moist. 
so it takes a while to get lit. Then you have this side of the check tool. What I want to do is just press it easily, small increments. And then you light it again. So after doing that, the tobacco uh, chamber should be pretty well lit. Well, this is a very delicious tobacco. It's um, not as strong as uh, University Flake because uh, the taste for the University Flake, those of you who tried it, is very, very strong. Well, it depends on people. For me, I like strong tobacco. But this capsan here, it's uh, it's not as strong, so. Mm. This is really good. You don't want to smoke it too fast. You just want to sit there and enjoy it. If you, <clears throat> if you puff it too fast, what's going to happen is you're going to have a tongue bite and, you know, some tongue bite can be really painful. So, uh, you know, nice and easy. Blowing it through your nose. Don't inhale, by the way. And you just get that, that, that taste there, you know, with your lips and, and your tongue. And, Try to taste the tobacco. Uh, the, uh, tobacco. Well, this is a, a burly, burly tobacco, and it's really, really, really quite good. You just gotta keep popping it until you get it relit again. So, there you have it. So uh, I recommend those people who like uh, University Flake, please do, please go ahead and try this. It's not as strong, but yet it's quite tasty. So I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.